everyone, my name is Hannah Fenton from Sustain and I'd like to take a moment to talk about the Aylesbury Community Food Group. So Sustain was commissioned by the Rothschild Foundation back in January to start a project to look at the need for a food partnership in Buckinghamshire and I thought it was going to be a desk research project with some consultation and some big events and two months in the coronavirus crisis hit so it actually turned into a kind of an action research project and uh, we very quickly convened two emergency food response groups one in Aylesbury and one in Wickham and that was so that everyone could get together who was dealing with the food crisis within coronavirus and talk about all kinds of things and share resources and the group in Aylesbury has about 40 members Hi, so my name's Adam Townsend uh, and I run Ellsbury Vineyard Storehouse, uh, which has predominantly been a food bank for the last six months. In that group, we had uh, the food banks around Ellsbury, we had the uh, NHS were there, we had people from Vale of Ellsbury Housing Trust, we had Youth Concern, we had Action for Youth. We had lots of people from Buckingham Council, we had people from Community Impact Parks, uh, Ellsbury Town Council, and I've probably missed loads, but there were just so many people, um, and they were all doing different things, but we were all doing it together as one, uh, and that really helped all of us out. Um, so through this group, uh, for instance, for us here at Storehouse, um, we managed to redistribute uh, 752 dozen eggs that came in one day, um, that's a pallet, that's a lot of eggs to get rid of. Uh, we managed to get hold of boxes um, that we desperately needed to make food parcels. Um, we dealt with uh, Waheed Raja who helped us get halal meals, um, which really helped some of our clients. Um, and then of course we, we collaborated with uh, Bernie the Bus who's been fantastic at getting, um, getting our donations in. And from that we've uh, started um, Food Champions, which has been rolled out over Ellsbury and surrounding villages, um, which has really helped the food banks. Um, so all of this uh, came through the Emergency Food Response Group. Uh, got to grips with government guidance, which was always changing, and worked out how to do things as safely as possible for the people and the volunteers that the groups were working with. Uh, we worked on nutritional value of food parcels and we fed back to national government on preschool meal vouchers, um, ran an online home growing project and so on and so on and so on. So there was lots of working together and collaborating and supporting each other in a really difficult time. Hello everyone, my name is Benedicta and some of you may know me affectionately as B. I work at Ellsbury Town Council and I'm a Dementia Friends Champion and a Communities Officer. So I live, breathe and scream all things community. At the Town Council, we really take great pride in celebrating the coming together of as many groups and charities and organisations and communities as we can. And we know that even though we face the challenges of COVID, we will continue to strive to build a strong community as we can. So we are really looking forward to embracing the new way of living and the new way of communicating and the new way of engaging. We are now feeding into the new Aylesbury Community Board as well as any emerging box-wide work that I'm hoping to do with Sustain on uh, Buckinghamshire Food Partnership. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we uh, we think that's a really good position for the group to be in. We've learned a lot and got a lot from each other, and you know, we really hope that other people will want to join us. And I hope that uh, I'm really I'm really positive about the future with the community board, and I really hope that it's a great way that we can all work together as best possible. And enjoy each other's company uh, and uh, have a good time when we can. Here's to collaboration. <laughs>